The Rabbitohs prepare to face one of their favourite sons, Adam Reynolds, for the first time. Another club icon made a surprise visit to South training today. George Piggins returning to the club he saved from extinction almost two decades ago. A moment to savour in Rabbitohs heartland today. Club patriarch George Piggins back where it all began. Yeah, it was really good. It was actually the first time I've got to meet George. I'll sit down and have a chat with him. He's a big part of why. I'll have the opportunity that I haven't. Piggins played for the Bunnies and coached them too. But his greatest achievement is one of the most pivotal moments in rugby league history, leading the protests to get Souths reinstated in the comp in 2002. And Piggins still has that fighting spirit as he battles a number of serious illnesses. George, is it pretty special to come back here to Redfern? Oh, well, I've done it since I was a kid, 1964. You know what I mean? I've played that, that long term. He's happy now watching from the stands. So they might be too smart for me now. Tomorrow night, Adam Reynolds faces his childhood club for the first time since joining the Broncos. He's a pest, so I'll leave him alone, but... Um, yeah, my, my daughters are in constant contact with his daughter, so I'm getting all the feedback. But um, yeah, it'll be good to see him tomorrow night. There's another blockbuster on Friday night the Battle of the West with the Panthers hosting the Eels. The biggest game for us, round wise. Um, yeah, we love playing against them and uh, the crowd loves it as well. So it, it's always a, a big night for you know both communities and stuff. So. Um, yeah, getting a bit tingly already. And the Bulldogs head to Canberra looking for two straight wins for the first time since 2019. Yeah, look, we've got to back it up. You know, if we want to propel ourselves up the, up the table, we, we need to string back and back games together. Emma Lawrence, Nine News. Wade Graham is facing a substantial pay cut if he wants to stay at Cronulla next year. But the Sharks captain says he put talks about his future on hold while he was recovering from an ankle injury. She can't, as a player, negotiate a deal or even look to the future if you're not playing in the present. Graham made his comeback last round and says he will start negotiating with the Sharks when he's back to full fitness. Well, for a man who's played just seven NRL games, Dragon Jaden Sullivan certainly has a mature outlook on life. The 20-year-old learned the value of hard work from his dad, which is something he's determined to pass on to others. And he also has a special request for his growing legion of fans. At a time when we're celebrating mums, last week's match winner Jaden Bud Sullivan is paying tribute to the person who played both parenting roles. I grew up in um, in Port Kembla with um, siblings of nine. Um, Dad um, took us all in and I didn't really have much contact with my mum. A sign of his dedication to Dad, his image is tattooed on his leg. And I owe my father everything. Like, um, like he showed me the right from wrong from a very young age. Um, I dropped out of school in year eight and had a full-time job. Uh, I was working with my father, waking up at three, and he showed me how to make money and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I get a bit emotional talking about him. Sullivan was working as a scaffolder. I was 14, 15, going to work, and he'd, he'd sort of look after me and let me sleep for a bit longer. And then when the big bosses came, he'd, he'd wake me up and say, oh, come on, we've got to go to work. And because of that tough upbringing, as much as Sullivan wants to be a first-grade footballer, he really wants to be a role model for all kids chasing their NRL dream. I'm 20 years old and I haven't had a sip of alcohol and haven't done any stuff like that, so I feel like I'm in a good path. Um, I sort of feel like my upbringing showed me that side of life without seeing that side of life personally, like, you know what I mean? And you want to be, I guess, a role model for kids one day, yeah? 100%. Like, um, I'm currently doing a, a youth work course now at the club and I really, like, I, I get inspired when, when kids come up to me and say, oh, you're Jaden Sullivan and stuff like that, and I'm like, wow, that, that really motivates me. There's only one thing Sullivan wants from us, to start calling him by his preferred name, one that belongs to his uncle, Bud. I'm Bud. Uh, I don't like to be called Jaden, and I actually asked our media bloke if I could ask the like, commentators to call me Bud because I, I, like, I like to be known as Bud and like, that's my name. So I'm going to call you Bud. <laughs> yeah, sweet, sweet. That's, that's happy with me. Danny Widler, Nine News.